Today's video sponsor is GVG Mall. Where using my SKG discount code leads to a 25% off across several products, making a Windows 10 serial key only $16. After the payment, you'll receive the key in your account and all you need to do is to introduce it in your Windows settings and BAM! You have an activated system. Hello guys, I should give plays. I'm Fabio Pisco. Fabio Pisco? <laughs> I, I still don't know why I did that. And welcome to my channel. So as for today's video, we have the AMD review video. Um, mm. We have a review video of the new AMD Adrenaline drivers and now not the AMD Radeon drivers, just AMD Adrenaline drivers because yes, they changed names. So now the Radeon is not included. It is just AMD Adrenaline drivers, okay? As for today, we have the review of the version 22 0.3.1 and as I say in 22 is the year 2022 3 is the month March and 1 is the revision in that same month so the first revision of March we haven't had new drivers for quite some time for over a month yes I think it's for over a month um, but well at least now we have something big the first recommended driver since October last year. So it's a big thing, okay? And well, just let me tell you that we have so, so many new things that it's just exciting, really exciting. Okay, now let, let's go really into the release notes, okay? So we have support for Radeon Super Resolution RSR technology. RSR is an in-driver spatial upscaling feature that is built on the same algorithm as the AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution technology. It delivers near-native resolution and increased performance across thousands of games that run into exclusive full-screen mode on AMD RDNA-based and newer discrete graphics. Okay, from what I know, RSR is based on the Fidelity FX Super Resolution 1.0 and not the 2.0 that was uh, just announced today, okay? Fidelity FX 2.0 use, uses a new and improved algorithm based on temporal upscaling, which is much better than the 1.0. So yeah, RDNA, the, the, the only difference is that the RSR, the RSR can be used uh, driver-wise, okay, the, RS, the RSR is driver-wise, you just go into the game, you decrease, you decrease the resolution in-game, and then you go to the, to the software kit and enable the RSR, okay, that's how it works. Let's go to the next one, AMD Link. Updated AMD Link feature now allows up to four users to connect to an AMD Radeon graphics-powered PC from an Android or Windows-based PC, phone, tablet or TV to play local multiplayer games. AMD Link is also introducing customizable hotkeys, allowing gamers to use their devices to control their gaming experience. AMD Link is now accessible from the Microsoft Store and can be downloaded as a standalone application on non-AMD based PCs, inviting an even wider range of users and hardware to join a personal gaming cloud. Okay. Very nice, AMD Link is updated, so if you have friends with Intel or Nvidia, um, Nvidia builds, they can now use AMD Link as well to play with you, so that's very nice. Radeon Image Sharpening, RIS. Bringing crispness and clarity to in-game visuals that have been softened by upscaling and post-process. The latest version of Reese can now be used to enhance visuals in video playback and other productivity applications with a single click. So basically we have an improvement on the, Re on the Radeon image sharpening, okay? We can use it now on video playback and it is mostly focused uh, on, the, um, on the together use, okay, on the together use with the RSR, with the Radeon Super Resolution, okay? Because when you use Radeon Super Resolution, you are upscaling uh, and you'll have little, you'll, you'll have, let's say, you'll have a more blurry image, okay? More blurred, yes, the, that's the correct word, the correct word. You have a more blurred image and then you use the Radeon Image Sharpening to have it sharper, okay? To look even closer to native, okay? That's, that's basically what it does. FSR does the same but automatically and uh, the LSS does the same but automatically once again. Now, faster downloads. 
saves time and reduces the driver download size when updating AMD software Adrenaline Edition directly from the application, downloading and installing only the files that need updating on the PC. So that's a very nice thing and a very interesting thing for people with slow internet connections because if you just want to update the driver, for example, you don't need to, not to download the full package, okay? It will just download the driver precisely and update it. So that's a very nice thing. And we also have the improved Toast notifications. Provides users with a clearer snapshot on which key features are enabled or disabled whenever they launch the game. Now this is a pretty interesting thing. I had the drivers, um, I had the drivers previously, and I did not notice it working. The toast notifications, and it is very nice to go into your game and to see if you actually have the the radiant sharpening enabled, if you have radiant chill enabled. So basically, what do you have? or what you have not enabled on that particular game, okay? So basically, if you go to the gaming tab, you have several settings, Radeon Shield, Radeon Image Sharpening, Radeon Super Resolution, and when going into that game, these Toast notifications give you the info if those options are enabled or not. Now, we also have some fixed issues, and the first one is some users on Windows 10 operating system may observe the absence of Windows Transparency Aero effect, that's fixed. On some AMD graphics products, such as the Radeon RX 6800 XT graphics, the tuning page within AMD software may display incorrect preset selections after installing the latest AMD software Adrenaline Edition driver. So basically, a driver, a driver bug uh, within the tuning page is also fixed, which is nice. While playing Forza Horizon 5 on some AMD graphics products, such as the RX 6800 graphics, longer than expected load times may be experienced when ray tracing is enabled and set at either medium or high ray tracing quality settings. I have the RX 6800, but I never enabled the ray tracing, so I don't really know, but at least it seems to be fixed, which is nice. Visual artifacts may be observed while playing It Takes Two on some AMD graphics products, such as the Radeon RX 6900 XT graphics, and the next one is enabling Radeon Chill for Steam VR may lead to inconsistent performance being experienced. So finally, if you enable the Radeon Chill to lock the FPS on Steam VR, the FPS will be smooth and it will they won't be all over the place. At least it seems so. So that's a very very good fixed issue, okay? And the last one is after disabling the hotkeys feature in the AMD software Adrenaline Edition, some hotkeys still function for some users when they restart their system. And this is the last fixed issue. But it is not all good things, we also have some, some known issues. Using Radeon Super Resolution on 2560 per 1600 resolution displays may produce a system hang. A temporary workaround is to set the display scaling mode to full panel. While playing Cyberpunk 2077 on some AMD graphics products such as the Radeon RX 570 graphics, some users may observe an issue where indoor areas appear darker than, they, than expected. And this is not an issue just uh, for the 570, it is also an issue, for example, for with the Vega 56 cards, and it isn't fixed yet. So people, so people playing Cyberpunk with these cards have to use drivers from like November, which makes absolutely no sense. AMD needs to fix this now. This is a, actually a very important problem. But anyway, the third one is the Mighty Enhanced Sync, may cause black screen, blah 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 And the last one is also one going into the same way, in the, in the same direction as the Enhanced Sync as well. Raven performance metrics and logging features may intermittently report extremely high and incorrect memory clock values. So basically, these three, the Cyberpunk, the Enhanced Sync, and the Radeon Performance Metrics are the ones that are here for the longest time, maybe two or three months. The Enhanced Sync is like two years here, and this needs to stop, seriously. This needs to be fixed, okay? But anyway, apart from that, I had the drivers uh, previously. I had like, um, it was not a leak. AMD actually sent me the drivers to test previously, to me and some others. 
uh, and I had them for quite some time and the 22.3.1 are really, really stable. I really can't complain, everything worked perfectly. I tested with the 6800 and the 6600 XT. The 6600 XT needed a bit more voltage in comparison, for example, with the 22.2.2 drivers. Um, but yeah, apart from that, it was rock stable and it performs even better, both on the 6800 and the 6600 XT overall. So it's a win-win situation. We also have RSR and so on. So it's really a win-win situation. So now that you know that the recommended drivers work perfectly fine for me in all my cards that I tested, even in my brother's car the, with a 60, with a 5600 XT, it is also working perfectly. So now that you know that, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video. Leave your comment in the comment section. Let me know what's your experience with these drivers, okay? Because we always want to know that if you have problems or not like me. Um, and also, you have the usual side-by-side -side comparisons in the end, comparing both drivers now with the 6800 and the 6600 XT. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video, which will be the How to Adrenaline 2022. See you in the next one, guys.